often we all underestimate the power of art. Each time we go in a country, in a community, people start seeing how it reflects on their community, how it reflects outside of their community, how the world looks back at them. And that's what I've been working on the last 20 years. When we started talking about doing a piece for Avant Art, I was actually thinking of doing something I've never done. And how can I represent, you know, one of my installation, but as a sculpture? There's always the idea that they reach the most people. So when the Olympics were coming, I thought, okay, what can I do in the city that would be so different than things that I've ever done, actually? The idea was to use people that dream is to be one day part of the Olympics. When I met Mohammed, he knew he didn't make it to the Olympics, but uh, his rage and his desire to get at a high level was huge, and so he could not believe. I don't think he really realized how big he would be in the middle of the Olympics. And that was the beauty of it. We stayed in touch, you know. Each time, you know, he sees the image being published somewhere, being seen, he always write me, and it's kind of an image that follows him all his life, and for me too. I started using garbage in the street as ladders, you know, I would grab garbage here and there and then climb on it to, to be able to tag when I was doing graffiti. And then I used ladders and then, you know, I used little scaffolding and then bigger scaffolding and then scaffolding that cover entire buildings. And then I realized, wow, what an incredible material to actually make sculptures in the city. We're not trying to hide it. You see the structures going through the building. How deep is the scaffolding? How high it goes? It's impossible for me to do it by myself. And so everything is done with my studio, with teams, sometimes with engineers that we have to hire specifically. And the more we progress on making new artworks, actually the more the complexity, just because I'm curious of trying things that seems impossible. And so we go and we look and we dream and sometimes we have to correct the dream, but it's, it's really that idea of how far can you go and how many people can you involve that actually knows better than you. I think in all my projects, there is always uh, the fact that I go in a place and I discover a whole new world. And maybe there is a part of me that's so naive about it, that just jump into it, that keeps me fresh. I love for the people, for the community to explain me from their own point of view, rather than me coming thinking I know anything about it. Each time I install a, a walk in the city, if you look at it, it's, it's a black and white image, but there's no signature, not even and information about it. So you can just be on your way to walk and have no idea of who it is and why it's there, but never question yourself about it. Or you can actually go by it every day and wonder, what is this? And if you look, if you Google, if you search, you'll find the answer pretty easily. I always put all the material online. It requires that step from the audience that I think is essential, which is the difference between art and advertising. Art is supposed to raise questions, not to bring answer. And that's the beauty of it. When you go in a museum, you go actually to look at art. You know that's the purpose. When you go in the street, you're going somewhere. You're not necessarily going there to search for art. So you might take them by surprise, and that's what I love about it. This piece comes and reminds that, that like being a collector, you're part of that whole adventure, but also the artwork lives within you, within your space, and almost take a whole new journey there. The jumper is in your library or on one of your shelves or over the actual box that suddenly becomes the building. You still are wondering how is this guy jumping over a building and yet the structure is there behind so the actual magical element of it is revealed and yet it's magical. That's what's the beauty of when we did it also in Rio is that you could tell how the trick is being made. All my work are ephemeral in the outside but the part that people collect is what, they're the gatekeeper, is what stays, it's really what will get carried and the story will be told because of those objects, because of those prints, uh, because of those books. If you go back in Rio, it's not there, but yet it's in people's mind. But for the ones who haven't seen it, there's the proof that it's had at some point existed.